Chained to a wooden bed, mentally ill Awan spends 24 hours a day shackled in an Indonesian faith healing center in remote central Java. Desperate families, often believing their relatives are possessed by evil spirits, leave them in places like this, hoping for a cure. We don't have any other option in this facility. It's for safety reasons that we chain their feet. Indonesia has only 48 psychiatric hospitals for a population of 250 million people. And a new report by Human Rights Watch warns that the inhumane practice is widespread. For someone with a mental health condition in Indonesia, the chances are high that they will either be shackled or put in an institution where they face abuse. It is very difficult for many Indonesians today to access even the basic support and services they need. Like for 25-year-old Waspia, who lives locked up in this goat shed. The nearest state-run mental health facility is far away, and the local clinic doesn't stock the right medicine to treat her disease. Her elderly parents say that keeping her safe at home is just too much of a struggle. I want to make sure she doesn't run away again. Shackling has been illegal in Indonesia for nearly 40 years, but the law is widely ignored. Faced with this, the government has promised to step out the practice by 2017. What needs to be considered are the difficulties in the field. Often, it is not easy to get rid of such practices, but we are continuing to do what we can. Rights groups say that's not enough, and they're pushing for faster change and a permanent end to shackling.